Oh, sorry, <laughs> just, uh, I'm studying the business of art. You know, there's a lot more that goes uh, into being an artist than just painting so or, or being true. a sculptor, you yeah. know, just doing the art itself. Yeah. Well, if you are an artist, a professional or an amateur artist and you want to know more about it, there's a wonderful workshop coming up and that's why we were joined by Sandra Hawkins, who is the founder of Business of Art Training. Welcome to the show. Hi, it's great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Sandra, let's start off just really with a basic overview of, of what the business of art really means to an artist. Well, it's, um, a, a, there's an awful lot that goes on behind the scenes, and that's what a lot of people don't realize, including artists. I know myself, when I graduated with the Bachelor of Fine Arts, it was like, now what? I didn't have a clue, you <laughs> sure. know, where to begin. And Canada has kind of a unique system because we have three equal uh, sectors, uh, the public galleries like the National Gallery and then we have the private galleries, commercial galleries, right. Coimans, Wallachs and then there's, uh, there's a plug for those two galleries <laughs> anyways and then there's the non-profit artist run center galleries like Saw Gallery and Gallery 101 and so it's quite a maze. I know personally when I first graduated I found it was like really uh, confusing. So uh, in the process of researching it I put together this workshop in 1999 and I've been teaching it ever since and the book that you were reading came out of the workshop mainly because um, I needed it. I, my students needed it and I needed it personally and there just wasn't anything that was sort of Canadian oriented which addressed our very, this very unique structure that I right. was telling you about because we don't have like the large arts foundations like the US and so Sandra, let's get into some of the specifics then, because you're right, I mean, the, the, the talent is one thing, mm -hmm. right, to be an artist. You, of course, need that. But then when it comes to actually selling your works and trying to make a living out of it, I'm sure there are so many other things to consider that artists don't consider, and certainly people admiring art don't realize that goes into it. Can you give us the perspective from the artist's point of view, what kind of things you have to think about? Yes, and, and the workshops and the book are from that perspective, rather than from an, uh, an organization okay. corporate perspective. And so the artist has to consider uh, things like the purchase of, and selection and purchase of supplies, um, their studio, their relationship to the studio, often uh, the size of the studio, for example, might um, make a, an influence on the size of the work that you produce. Right. And, and all of these things, um, the, uh, the promotion of your art, getting it out there, then the preparing of the art for presentation like framing, that's a big expensive thing thing that mm -hmm. I, I'm constantly confronted with and I know other artists are, are too. Sandra, you know, I, I think this is a great conversation not only for artists but for potential buyers like myself, TL, viewers, because I think, you know, when we think of artists, we think of the time they spend doing it. We don't think of everything else that's involved, all yeah. the other extra expenses. expenses that are involved. That's right, yes. It's, it's, it's funny because it, the whole idea is to make it look seamless when we go into a gallery that they just miraculously appear, <laughs> mm -hmm. but in fact there's a tremendous amount of skill sets and activities besides, beyond the actual creative process of creating the art. I mean, for example, this exhibition uh, I've got coming up, and I'm not going to talk about that right now, but just the, the invitation that is hot off the press. I had to, I can't afford to pay somebody to do my, my mm -hmm. you know, graphics. I had right. to put this together myself. That's time that I don't get paid for. The printing alone at Staples, which was a good price, 54 cents of for each one of these is 54 cents. That adds up. Yeah, yeah. and these are all <laughs> things, like you said, that people don't normally think about. Sandra, really quickly, we're, at, we're out of time. Uh, where can people find out more information on the workshop and get involved? They can call me at 613-820-0783, but there's really only till next Friday to register okay. for okay. it, and registration is by payment, and it's $225 
for a Friday evening and Saturday with follow-up of, of consultation. And you get to take the workbook home with you as a reference guide? Uh, the book is not included okay. in the course because many people already Thank have you. the book. Thank Terrific. you so much, Yeah, Sandra. I really appreciate it, Sandra. Thank you. Again, the deadline is Friday, August the 14th, so if you're an artist out there and you want to find out the business of art, get a hold of Sandra. Don't go away. We'll be right back right after this break.